Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's Tuesday, so you know that means we're going to take out the trash. Um, I've got I've been up for a little bit now and uh, done a little bit of sewing um, on my pages. Um, I've pulled out some fussy cuts and things, and I want to make little bits of ephemera to go in the the pockets that I've created so far for my current journal. Uh, let me see if I can reach it. It's, it's blue. So I'm trying to keep things in, in cooler tones, blues. And I want it to sort of have um, a turn of the century feel. So a um, couple changes around here. First thing is I got a new mat. So Catherine, you're going to have to get used to me using a new color again. <laughs> I had been using the black glass Tim Holtz tonic um, mat for some time now and I will work on it when I'm not um, recording. Because I do like it, it's easy to clean up. I don't have to switch back and forth between glass mats for for uh, exacto blade use. Um, but the ref the re reflection of my lights is so distracting. I can barely watch my video. So back to green. Um, I put a few new things and a few repeats into my Etsy shop. I didn't do a, a video about that. Um, I've just been posting on Instagram. So I thought I would share that. So this is something that I haven't had in the shop for a while. Uh, lace clusters that I make myself using um, vintage and antique lace and uh, buttons, pearls, things like that. So these are back in my shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have the 50 pieces of lace snippets back in the shop. These sold out immediately after Wendy from uh, Wendy's Journal Adventure did um, a video about her uh, purchases from me. She had purchased two of these uh, packages. So I have them back in the shop. Um, last week I did some tags that were made from a, a let me think now a ledger um, I that I got recently it dated to 1841 and then later on somebody glued newspaper clippings over top and I was able to date the newspaper clippings to the 1870s so each pack has uh, six tags some of them are going to have mostly um, newspaper some are going to have mostly um, um, ledger, but I have um, put uh, um, reinforcements on all the tags back and front and back. Let me see if I can find an example of one where it's part. Yeah, here. So here's like ledger all the way around, and then there's this newspaper clipping. Sometimes there's little pictures. There, that one's got a strip of numbers and. Um, yeah, so these are genuinely antique. Um, the ledger itself is, you know, pushing nearly 200 years, so it's good paper, though. Um, milk tickets. Phone number is 106, so if you want to give the, the dairy a call. And I also have um, these receipts uh, from a poultry farm. The phone number is 84. So there's the the white copy and the canary copy. So I think there's 
I want to say there's five, so a total of 10 pieces of paper, but five full receipts. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to work here. We got work to do. Um, so I have my, whoops, I have my bucket of uh, trash here. Um, and like I said, I have uh, covered the backs of all of these with paper. And let me pull one out. So that one's got plain paper on it. So I need to find one that's really super thin that will go into, that won't even go in easy. Okay, here we go. over here so I've got it covered in book page looks like I got a little rough spot here I'm gonna round the corners so that it'll slip in and out of that little pocket easy I'm just gonna use a quarter inch shall I put on this tag? Okay. So I might actually shorten this. But for sure, I'd like to cover it. With some scraps. These are torn from the top of um, that uh, ledger. Why can't I say ledger today? <laughs> I'm really struggling. Maybe that's what I'll do. This is a, a little pocket sized dictionary. Truthful is going to be right at the top. <clears throat> so I really apologize for that sad live that Catherine and I did on Sunday. For the life of me, I could not remember how to do it. And we have absolutely done um, a live before. I won't say it was any better, but it didn't take as long to figure out.
I'm just going to cut that away using my X-Acto. So it is actually Tuesday, um, weeks off to a good start, so far so good, <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it, <laughs> I'm going to cut this bottom off though. I think I'll do this, and then it'll have that number up there. And it adds some blue, right? Get my chopper here. I love these little torn off pieces. Look at this one Chatham Brewery. I love that some have brown ink, some have blue ink. I saved them all and I'm gonna use them all. Might take me years, but and what's not to love about Chatham Brewery? Okay. Just gonna use my little sanding block here. Smush. Beautiful. So I used um, vintage book book page to cover the backs. You know how often books will have a few pages of blank pages at the back or at the front um, and they're just perfect for that purpose okay I was going to put some flowers on there any idea what I did with them I will look for them and then I have to fussy cut them anyway. Okay, um, I'm going to put the flower up a little higher 
so that that stem sort of follows how that paper's torn. Um, should I ink the edge a little? It's not going to be easy. It's going to be even harder when I can't find my ink brush. Oh, there you are. Silly thing. So I'm just touching the very edge. So I used my exacto to cut this out, just in case you're wondering, uh, how'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, it's fiddly, um, but I think the result is, is worth the effort. And for this journal, I really want to do like a lot of over the top. Um, I mentioned, or I have mentioned, that I want to put one metric ton of lace in here. Let's see if I can get this glue started. So it's, it's going to be very lacy, over the top, um, perhaps too much, too much. <laughs> and nothing minimalist about this journal. Okay. What have I got over here? I will cover up my truthful. Um, okay, I don't think I'm going to uh, put a topper on there. So that will go right there in that slot. And I've got a little, little bead and some little blue crystals. I might need to sew that on again. I don't like the way it's hanging. Okay, maybe I fixed it by moving that stitch. One done. Uh, I don't think I have any other pockets. This is from an old spelling exercise book. I love it. Okay. 
this one we can go a little bigger. Something like that. Oh, Doug Ford. We gotta cover you up, Doug. You gotta go. Let's see what I have here. So I have some small images, I have some bigger images. That's too too big. So this is a card, a Christmas card actually, it's got forget-me-nots, and a little blue ribbon here. What if, I'm going to cut this blue ribbon out and replace it. is all stitched together. Maybe I should cut from the back so I don't sc scratch the stitches that haven't given yet. They're stuck in there. I think they've been there a long time. Okay. Well, let's keep that. We might need it for something. Let's keep that. We might need it for something. Um, okay, I want to cover this with plain paper. Let me grab some book page here. Ooh, that's going to work good. But at the same time, I want to st I want to stitch this to a piece of paper and stick it under there like that so that it can be opened. Um, I did not want to use the old piece of paper because it, it is very old and it would maybe 
not work so great. So I'm gonna grab another piece of paper. Whoops. That's got some oomph. So I'm going to sew it like under there and then flip it. Trim that down to a reasonable size. what glue to use. Let's try this. I wonder if I want to cut this down a bit, the card itself. So let's kind of measure it. So it's about five and a half by three and five eighths. So I think I will cut it down to five and three quarters. By three and seven eighths. Cut off the top of Doug's head. Okay. might trim another eighth of an inch off there. I forgot the card would be going right up to the edge. While I wait for that to set up a bit, I'm going to grab some ribbon. Um, I want <clears throat> I want some silk embroidery ribbon. I think that's going to do nicely. 
hard to find silk embroidery ribbon, so check your secondhand shops. Sometimes it's worth it to get little kits, like from you know the early 90s, I think, was the last time silk embroidery was a big deal. Um, just for the ribbon and throw the rest of the kit away. I'm going to have to press this, I'm afraid. Okay, I brought the camera in just a little bit as well. Now, there's two little holes there. And I'm just going to use my um, pokey tool. embroidery. There we go. I'm going to put the ribbon through the embroidery needle so I can easily get it through the holes. Okay. It's going to just snip like that. I was putting a little glue against the knot so it doesn't... Oh, look at that. I'm getting glue on my new mat. Stop it, Nancy. Stop. Okay. Now I chose this paper because it's really gross and grungy. And I'm going to put that right there. Trim off the, the excess. Grab 
grab some decent sized scissors. I'm going to stitch around. Okay, got all the threads pulled to the back. down these stitches. Okay. Anchor. Anchor, anchor. I don't get any ink on my blue ribbon. All right. Slide that right in there. For 38 minutes. Okay. Now I have this belly band here. So that's going to call for another big Egg. I don't want to waste my jet a Chatham brewery. Do I have something wider? I do 
do indeed. Uh, we recently had an election, that's why I've got all of these <laughs> election things. Um, I'm just going to um, do a little bit of collage in the background. Steamer Western Company. So maybe Steamer Western. First time I'm using it, and I'm wrecking it already. So, gotta stop that. All right. a little bit of this blank off. And what's this? That's from a French novel. margin off of that. Okay. Let's 
I'm wondering if I should do a, just a teensy weensy little border there at the bottom. Why not? for me. Press that for a minute. Ah, you're a love. Aren't you pretty? Why not? Definitely see some glue. Okay. I'm 
going to sew around the perimeter of the, the, the painting. Again, just bringing the threads to the back. Tying a double knot. Right over left. And <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not going to um, cut the edge of the, of the paper that's hanging over. I kind of like that. Um, however, I might want to put a ruffle there. Nope, don't even need to try that one. You know what? Oh, here's a silk one. Oh, it's a big silk one. No. Ruffles for you, babe. Okay, we will ink though. journaling card that goes in that belly band. Okay, so we got three things done today. Not bad, not bad. So we did this little tag. We did this bigger tag. <laughs> So thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed me uh, showing you the process I go through to create tags and, and stuff. Um, I got a lot more to go. So I will uh, continue to work on tags for this, this, that. This one, 
this one, this one, and I have two rows of lace here for pockets. So, hope you have a great Tuesday. Um, I think I uh, I think I'm gonna have a great Tuesday. <laughs> Things seem to be okay at work. So take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.